In America right now, 70 million people, why we're speaking, are yeah. suffering from some form of sleeping disorder. And then that trickles down to our men and women from the armed forces. You know, we're talking right. 8 million alone with PTSD. Every 100,000 men and women deployed, 50 come back and commit suicide within 12 months. So obviously, if you're not sleeping, you're not healing. If What's the recommended hours of sleep that one should get? His bottom line was, Michael, if you're not sleeping, you're not healing. Your body cannot, which is huge, cannot heal. So many of you are probably wondering, what do you, I need to do to make sure I wake up every day in my A game? One word, sleep. I'm here with a gentleman, Michael Terrell of Whole Tones, and his father was a United States Marine. He's a Christian, he's a musician, and he's got a Grammy. So talk to us today, the importance of sleep. Michael, thanks for having man, it's a, a little bit of time with us, man. God bless yeah, you, appreciate you. you. It's a huge deal. Yeah. I mean, in America right now, 70 million people, why we're speaking, are yeah. suffering from some form of sleeping disorder. And then that trickles down to, our men and women from the armed forces. You know, we're talking right. 8 million alone with PTSD. Yeah. And then now the latest 2019 statistics are telling us that for every 100,000 men and women deployed, 50 come back and commit suicide within 12 months. So obviously if you're not sleeping, you're not healing. If you're not healing, you're in a desperate strait. And, and not only physically, but emotionally. Right. Like I find that even, you know, and I'm a good sleeper now, mm -hmm. but if I get four or five hours of sleep, I'm not the same guy. Mm. I'm grumpy, I'm slow in the morning, it's not as easy to pop out of bed. Right. And it, it definitely, as you know, it affects everything. It affects cognition, how the brain functions early in the morning, you're foggy, right. you know. And then again, after a period of time, you can even start to have a cortisol imbalance from wow. hormones, which ends up on your stomach and nobody's happy about being fat because they didn't sleep. Right, so, so <laughs> when I'm thinking about sleep, I'm thinking about, you know, a guy like me, parent, five kids, business, wife, relationships, things I needed to do. What, what's the recommended hours of sleep that one should get? Well, I can tell you what we shared earlier was, uh, I talked to Dr. Oz, who was with Michael, Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleepdoctor.com, and they both were telling me that we should have seven to eight hours of sleep every single day. And then, then there's nothing that will make that up for you. Right. Like his bottom line was, Michael, if you're not sleeping seven to eight, you're not healing. Your body cannot, which is huge, cannot heal. And for a guy like you, especially <laughs> athletic people, it's about every part of your body healing, including your muscles and tendons, everything else, soft tissue, skin cells, brain cells. Right. So, so when I'm thinking about whole tones, right? I mean, there's music for everything. There's music that pumps us up. There's music, I remember yes. when I used to go to the clubs and parties, there's music for that. <laughs> there's music like a church, church worship music. Right on. What's up, what's up with Whole Tones? Whole Tones is, is a different type of music in that it was never created for entertainment. You know, being an entertainer, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I had my fill of that and I enjoyed that, but I knew there was something more. And after discovering that music needed to be retuned, and I needed to find out how I could not only retune music, but also add specific frequencies as an underlayment right. to the music that's played over the top of it, that that biphased uh, type of music could move markers and these kind of markers, like, a cellular level experience, meaning that Mu music does that. Yes, mine does. Well, wow. like if, if, for example, if you if you're deaf and you yeah. can't hear, you go, well, what's music to me? Well, you can still feel my music, and so I have a huge following of, of deaf community wow. in Minneapolis, Minnesota, that came to a concert where I played at, and they literally felt the music. And so now we actually have, you know, the scientific evidence that, you know, here's your brain on whole tones. Here's a heart rate variability, uh, variability. Here's um, live blood cell microscopy. You know, here's 3D, you know, thermographic imaging of your brain listening to this music. And the findings were phenomenal, but even more so, we put ourselves to the rigorous test because you know what, people are skeptical and I don't blame them, bro. I mean, if you know, music can solve my sleep problems, like really prove it, so we did. We uh, <laughs> actually did a gold standard study at uh, Jacksonville University in Jacksonville, wow. Florida, Dr. Heather Hasenblas. Not only was it, it doctor supervised, but it was electronically monitored, so it was impossible to fake it. Uh, the control group was no music, 
classical music and we raised the bar. It was Mozart's Requiem, which is the number one requested music therapy song in the world. And we pit our music against that music and found out that 69% uh, of the people said they fell asleep within five minutes or less. 70% of the people said that they slept through the night without interruption. And 72% of the people said that they woke up feeling completely different in the morning they were rested. So now we can legally say whole tones of sleep helps you fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer, and wake up feeling refreshed. You know, I'm a receiver of your gift. Oh, thank you. Uh, you know, Rachel sent me your whole tones, and uh, I've, got, I've got a nine-month-old. You know, everybody knows that a newborn baby doesn't <laughs> sleep through the night. Yeah, when well, they uh, say sleep like a baby, they don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and so my, my wife, you know, so I'm, uh, the funny thing about us, our house is like, okay, babe, I'm, I'm, I'm the night nanny. When he wakes up, I, t I, I take care of the baby. And so I have a, I have a bed inside his you know, oh. next to the script. So I'm like, that's my roommate, my baby, right? Yeah. So I put on the whole tones, right? Just, just out of care, because we have this you know, white noise that we're normally uh -huh. playing. Uh -huh. But we put this on. I woke up. I'm like, we slept the, the whole night. I slept, the, and more importantly, I see uh, videos of you uh, having this music played around dogs that have anxiety and, all, and, and just calm. I got to tell you the funny story. So I was on Fox uh, Chicago, believe it or not. Oh, my, my hometown. Chicago, yeah, yeah, wow. Channel 5. Yeah. And uh, so they had me on as a guest, and it was a male and female uh, host, and they were awesome. And so they said, well, we've got this, uh, this guy from the Chicago Blackhawks that has foster dogs, and we have one that's very energetic that wants to meet you. Well, right. they let the dog go. The dog jumps up on the couch and starts licking all the makeup off the, the main host guy, and he took it like a champ. He just let the dog do his job, you know, lick yeah. him, lick him, lick him. And, uh, but it, it was a pit bull mix. Uh, I loved the, the dog, right. but the dog was out of control. Right. And so then they took the dog away finally, and so we started, you know, we did the interview, he asked me about music, and then he threw me a curveball. He said, so um, I've heard amazing things about your music and how it calms down dogs. And he said, do you think that it could calm down that dog that lift up all my makeup? I said, well, I hope so. And he goes, well, we're going to find out. Hmm. So they brought, they brought the dog back out, and I'm looking at the dog off camera. The dog just like, get me yeah. off this leash. Yeah. I want to run. So they put the music on. They took the leash off. The dog tilted his head, looked up at the speaker, and fell asleep wow. on camera. Wow. And I was like, holy wow. smokes, dude. Wow. And he said, that's the most amazing. I mean, the, the studio audience was gasping because they knew the dog. They knew that that dog was out of control. But as soon as that dog heard a specific frequency, it was kind of like whew, Zen mode yeah. out. So you mentioned to me something last night. Because when I received sleep, I felt very rejuvenated. Yeah, yeah. Very, you, you call it, I was sleeping in Delta del sleep. Delta sleep. Uh -huh. So if, if, I'm, if I'm trying to hack my, not to say that's recommended, but if I'm trying to hack my sleep, <laughs> right. I'm trying to get more rejuvenative rest out of less, maybe less of the se seven, eight hours that you recommend. I mean, is that a possibility? Okay, here's, it's a, it's, it's a twofold answer. Yeah. Yes and no. Okay. The yes part is, if I could get you there quicker, uh, you could virtually get up in the morning and feel much better than you usually when I'm four hours sleep. Here's what you miss though. God in his infinite genius okay. created our bodies to work on a bio clock, which means from virtually 10 o'clock till two in the morning. And so during that time, all of your eliminatory organs, your liver, pancreas, lungs, everything, believe it or not, is rejuvenating. And so if you're sleeping soundly through that period of time, then virtually your whole body after an eight hour spread is healed. Right. So like within 21 days, you have a new liver. You know, within wow. 90 days, your body is not the same body that we're that we have right now. And there's a science to back this up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is called circadian rhythm. This has oh, been around. Okay. Yeah, since, of course. Yeah, yeah, but that's it. Which just, I mean, circadian is circuitous, which just means it's on the clock tick of how God created us to heal. And that's why a lot of times when, like, you see people and they get up at three o'clock a lot. Well, that's liver time. So that means either they're drinking too much, right, <laughs> or, or they have an issue. So we can usually tell by what time we awake every night what our main concern might be. Right. Or it could be like when you get older and you drink too much liquid before you go to bed and your prostate's not what it was if you're a guy and you got to get up because you got to pee. Right. But that's different than, than these clock tick things. So it can be really helpful to know hey, if I'm waking up at 3 o'clock every night in the morning, I need to either calm down my drinking, mm. go on a liver detox program, or see a physician and find out if my liver, if I have fatty liver disease or a problem. Right. Awesome. Well, Michael, you've been very generous with the time. I know you got uh, a jam, but listen, if you guys have been watching this video, make sure you go to Whole Tones. And more importantly, I'm going to give you guys a gift. You don't even know I'm doing this. But I'm going to give you guys a gift. The person that shares this the most and comments the most on either my YouTube channel or on Facebook or on Instagram, I'm going to give you as a gift from his location, from his office to your address as a gift for watching the Seven Figure Squad and watching the Money Smart Guy brand on 
social media, but you gotta share this the most, you gotta comment the most, and we're gonna set a deadline for that to happen, it's gonna be in the comment section below, so make sure you search for it, make sure you share it, make sure you comment on it, so therefore I can gift you from him to yeah. you a whole tones for the holiday season. Well, let's give them a link though. Okay, let's do it. All, so it's easy, it's www.holetones.com. That's W-H-O-L-E-T-O-N-E-S.com. Awesome, that being said, I'm gonna have Michael of Whole Tones. I'm your mighty smart guy. Until we meet again. Continue to smart, continue to love smart, and mighty smart today.